Billions of people rely on the internet to discover and share ideas with the world. However, websites are vulnerable to deliberate attacks, preventing people from accessing them. One way of bringing a site offline is by overloading a website with unwanted traffic. When someone maliciously uses several computers to do this, it's known as a distributed denial of service, or DDoS attack. To create a DDoS attack, an attacker will often start by building a network of infected machines, known as a botnet, by spreading malicious software through emails, websites, and social media. The botnet can then be controlled and commanded like an army to send an overwhelming volume of traffic that can take a target site offline. Botnets can also be sold to anyone who wants to pay for a targeted attack. DDoS attacks can be surprisingly cheap and easy to initiate, and anyone, anywhere in the world, can take almost any site down, no matter its size. Small, independent sites are at particular risk because a relatively small flood of traffic can take them offline, as they don't tend to have the resources or infrastructure to defend themselves. People take advantage of this vulnerability by using DDoS attacks to influence political events and silence opposing voices in media.